Hello and welcome to ID8 Automation Basics. This is Glennis Patterson, Director of ID8 Software. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to streamline your Revit quantity takeoff process with ID8 BIM Link Plus Automation. Delivering detailed and frequent quantity takeoffs of the Revit building information model is a labor-intensive but necessary task for VDC managers and general contractors. How much time could your business save if this process could be automated? And how much could your quality be improved by automating the best practices for quantity takeoffs? ID8 Automation is a scripting tool for use with ID8 software solutions. It is designed to significantly reduce the cost of repetitive BIM tasks like producing quantity takeoffs by letting them run in the background and allowing you the time to stay productive. Before we dig into our demonstration, I'd like to give you a high-level overview of the basics of using ID8 Automation. ID8 Automation is installed to program files ID8 via our MSI file. To create an automation task, you should double-click on the ID8 Automation queue.exe file as shown, and then pick Add Task. Next, you'll want to pick a predefined task script. For our first example, we'll use the one called IBL Export. This script will automate the use of ID8 BIM Link to export our quantity takeoff data. Each script will be unique in its requirements for selecting files and paths. In the example shown here, we need to pick both a Revit file and optionally alter the path which defines our standard for BIM Link's data requirements. Next, pick Create and Run to start the task. When it's completed, you'll see the task status indicate Succeeded, as shown here. In this example, it means our requested Excel files have been created via BIM Link. Now let's take a closer look at this quantity takeoff workflow. We'll be using automation to drive ID8 BIM Link in the background to update the raw data in our Excel spreadsheet. That data has been pre-formatted in a pivot table, which will also then be updated. We can use the sample Excel file that ships with ID8 BIM Link by copying it from its default location into our project file location before we begin. We should also ensure that Revit is closed before we launch ID8 Automation. The first step in using the automation queue is to start a new task. For this quantity takeoff example, we'll begin with the IBL export script. This script works well with local or cloud-based models because the script is set up to place the resulting Excel file in the same folder as the model. I'll keep Windows Explorer open so we can see this in action. The second variable used in this script is the full path and file name of the BIM link, link definition that defines our data export criteria. As we create and run the automation task, we'll see Revit launch in the background. It knows which version of Revit to launch based on the file that we've selected. Now we can go about our work while this chugs away. When the automation completes, we can see that the Excel file has been updated with the new raw data and that the pivot table now shows this formatted information. For those who want to use BIM 360 published models as the basis for a takeoff, we recommend the IBL MP export published script as a good starting point. This script has many advantages noted here, including the ability to export data from multiple files and more options to control your export results. In the example shown at right, the export folder is referencing a BIM 360 desktop location, and the results for each model are suffixed with the date of the takeoff. Being able to work with multiple models means you can save lots of time with ID8 Automation. Opening cloud models via automation does have one disadvantage. The Revit file opening warning for versions 2021 and 2020 cannot yet be suppressed. If you prefer to use the live cloud models as your basis for a takeoff, then we would recommend the script called IBL MP Export Cloud. This script differs from the published script in that it is designed to work with live cloud models and therefore does not display the Revit warning message. This script works with your cached local models, meaning those that have already been opened on your machine. If you find yourself wanting to repeat a task on a regular basis, you can always copy this script from automation and then paste it into the Windows Task Scheduler. ID8 Automation subscribers can contact support for detailed information on this process. ID8 Automation not only will save your business time through automating quantity takeoffs, but you will also find that you'll have a new level of consistency that can only happen through this scripted process. 
If you're interested in minimizing the costs of repetitive tasks and improve your bottom line, ask your ID8 account manager about starting a trial version of ID8 automation today.